Hello friend, welcome back. In our previous video, we successfully um, complete our font in part. Here we successfully load our font in template. Some of the images is missing. So don't worry, everything now is step by step. I want to make it as a dynamic. Okay, so here first of all, uh, that is our home slide. Okay, you can see that is some of the home slide. I want to make that part. I will be the dynamic and then about us. So that will be our dynamic part. They have some of the images. I will actually add some of the multi images. How can I add some of the multi images? I will also discuss about that things with you. And then there are some of the services. There are some of the um, work process portfolio. They have some of the images. Okay, also I want to make it as a dynamic. And then there is some of the partners, client, every part. Okay, there is also some of the blog every part now one by one i want to make it as a dynamic so friend just step by step watch my all that videos and also do practice as i told you laravel will be very much easy to you okay now let's start it uh, from our slider part and into the slider they have some of the um, text right they have some of the title they have some of the short title and they have some of the images and also they have some of the youtube videos right so now i want to do i want to make this part as a dynamic i want to manage every data from our backend so that is our backend and that is our database okay so now let's do that work for doing this i want to do i want to create one of the database because all the data i want to get it from to the database and i will visible it in here right now we don't need to insert that data only i want to update this data okay so i show you then everything will be more clear so if you go to that laravel if you go to that laravel official website because we need to create some of the migration stable right if i want to create one of the database so if you go to that laravel documentation and into this documentation if you go to the database into this database you can see there is a migration so you can individually create one of the migration by create that is one of the command okay so if you make it as a create as a flight stable that means it should be created one of the migration stable as a flights and when you create any migration stable here i will actually use that iluki and rm so for the iluki and rm we can manage everything through the model i show you so right now our server is now running with php addition serp better i want to go to our project I want to open with another CMD. Okay, I want to open another CMD. So right now I want to create one of the database migration stable and also I want to create one of the model. So if you want to create the one of the model and then you have to do, you have to write down as a PHP artisan make and then the model and then you have to do, you have to put your model name. Like if you want to create one of the model as a home, okay, make it as a home slide. So that will be our model name and also as i told you if you want to create that individual migrations table then that will be your migrations command but right now i want to do i want to, uh, to create together in one command so then you have to do you have to write down as a php artisan make model as a home slide so it should be created one of the model name as a home slide and also i want to create another migration table then that will be as a dash and then the m so now the two things will be created it will be created on the model and also it will be created on the migration stable now let's check this out if you now click as enter now you can see it's now created on the model and also it's created on the migration stable successfully and now if you want to check both of these simply go to our app into the models you can see there is a new model is created as a home slide and also if you now go to our database and the migrations and you can see it's now successfully created another migration stable as a home slides simply understand how that process actually works so by this command okay so remember that command there is a php addition make model our model will be created and also i make it as a hash that is a dash M, that means it will be automatically created another migration stable you can say migrate that is a migration stable is created a model is created great so now i want to do first of all you have to understand like right now we don't need this if you go to our home that into the home how many table we need uh, that means how many table field we need so here that is one of the title that is one field will be needed or that is one of the short title short title i want to add that should be one of the images and also there is some of the video url right so there is a four field i want to do and to take if you want to add it simply go there and now better i copy it okay and just i paste it so right now that is our table and i want to make it as a string 
a string that is will be as a string type and into the string type area i want to make our first field i name it as a title okay title and i also want to do i want to make it as a nonable okay so that means if you make it as a empty then that, that will be totally fine i make that field as a nonable and then our another field will be needed as a short description right so that will be i just name it as a short title so better i copy it and after that i paste it i need the four field so then that will be another one as a short short underscore title so when you use that as a string so a string by default get that as a 255 character when you add that as a multiple data like as a description then you can also use another type as a text type so right now it's totally fine that is our short title i make it as a string and also i make it as a nonable great and after that we need one of the image right so that will be as a home slide i name another field as a home underscore slide okay i name it as a home slide whatever the name actually you choose you can also use it as a home images so right now home slide is totally fine for me and also i make that part as a string and also another one that will be as a video url right so one of the video url i want to add so here i name it as a video video underscore url okay friend now i make all that field as a nonable that means if this field is empty that will be not display any error okay so now i simply click as a save all and now we have to work in our model i have already loaded one of the model as i told you in laravel that have the two different query one is the eloquent rm another is the query builder so in this project and best practice will be as using that eloquent rm so if you want to work with the eloquent rm our model will be needed here i have already created one of the model as a home slide by this model we are able to access our database table i show you now first of all in our model area here we have to also make this field as a fillable like if you go to our user table into the user table you can see there is a protected fillable so if you copy it and now i want to do i want to add it in here so there are the two different way you can actually do it you can there is a protected fillable you have to add all that your field okay here i have already created on the field as a title field so that will be as a title field i have another field as a short title so there is a short title and also home slide home slide and also another one as a video url so right now all that our field that i have already created for the home slide i make all that field as a fillable rather than that will be not executed okay here i have already added that part so that is one process and also if you want to make all that field by default as a nonable that is one of the array right here you can also do that work by using another command as a protected okay protected and protected guarded okay there is another function as a protected and then guarded protected guarded so when you use that as a protected guarded and make that array as a empty then it means all that your field whatever the field you actually added all that field will be as a fillable okay friends so you can use that part rather than if you want to use that only one line that will be totally fine so right now we don't need this i make it as a comment out okay friends so right now with this guarded i make it as an empty array that means whatever the field now you have you have created every field is by default as a nonable great so right right now our migration stable is ready i have already allocated that means i have already protected make that field as a fillable in our model now we can actually migrate it so if you go to our database right now that is all that our database if you migrate it now that should be created another new table like i show you here if you want to migrate it then that will be the php artisan and migrate just simply remember all that part and just simply remember all that step by step process so now here when you run as a php artisan migrate now click as enter now that will be migrate our database you can see there is a new table is added as a home slide table now if you go to our database click as a refresh yes now you can see there is a new table is available as a home slides if you open it and into the home slides here that is all that our field as a title field that is our um, short title the home slide and then video url and created that and updated that and id that is actually the default one okay here that is on the default field you can see there is a time is spent automatically with this time is spent it will be generated that created that and then updated that and id is by default default 
okay so right now our table is now successfully created in our database area i hope friend it's very much clear to you so right now we don't need this i simply save all i now close it and also we don't need this model i simply close it so as i told you friend right now we don't need to um, insert that data because only we need to update this data okay here for the reasons i want to do if you go to our database so that is our all that field and also i make all that field as a nonable i want to add, add one of the empty um, data like if you go to that insert okay if you go to that insert there is a title i just put some of the title name i just put some of the short title there is a home slide that will be on the images and i put on the url okay so right now i simply put that google url so that will be on the youtube url so literally we'll update it okay so that's all and you can see all the field is a uh, nullable mm, right now it's totally fine okay totally fine now if you click as a go so i make it as a go now go to that browse yeah you can see here i simply added one of the empty data as i told you only we have to do we have to get that title we have to get that short title the images the video url we have to get it and we have to visible it in our font in so that is a simple process now we have to do and that is our id as a one id so first of all i want to do to get that id and then i want to visible it so how can do this work first of all i want to add everything in our back end how can do this work is step by step just flow my all that is step everything will be very clear to you so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video